What's up YouTube, Connor Thrifts here, back with a brand new video. Today we're going to the spot to pick up some $6 t-shirts. Hopefully we can find about 15 t-shirts for $90. I did get a new iPhone, so if you see the quality is different, you're like, yo Connor, what happened? You just went from an iPhone 7 to an iPhone 12 Pro. I noticed the quality, Connor. This quality is amazing. You now look ugly. All right guys, so the best way to find the spot is to go on, what roads are these? <laughs> Rock Island Road and Sample Road. And it's gonna be right next to Coral Springs High School and a new Wawa that opened up. And it's actually in the plaza down the street on Sample. And it's right next to the light store. So it's called The Spot in Coral Springs. Really awesome store to find vintage t-shirts and just awesome clothing to get for a great deal. So they have these specials on Sunday and Saturday. I believe the clothes are $12.99 for all the stuff that they put out. And then each day they go down a dollar until it gets to Thursday when the t-shirts are $6. They do have more expensive t-shirts. So probably this t-shirt with the little embroidered cowboy Mickey would be like $20. They have it as a blue tag, but everything but blue tag is six bucks. So I got the light right now. I'm gonna catch you guys at the store. Hopefully you can find some good stuff. I'm looking for anything that I could buy for $6 and sell for about 30 because I know someone's gonna lowball me on eBay or other social media websites. And I'm gonna sell that t-shirt for like 20 bucks. So I'm spending $6 as an investment. This is an investment. I tell people that all the time. I don't know if this t-shirt's gonna sell within one hour or one year. So I really have to be cautious with how much money I spend. But I think I could spend about 100 bucks today and still be like in the clear. And then I could post those t-shirts on Instagram and hopefully make that 100 bucks back. And then the rest of the money will be made over time. All right guys, so I'm locking up the electric booty, my bike. I don't drive. I actually don't like driving at all. It's just a personal preference, but you guys could do it if I could do it, like on a bike. So we're gonna find some crazy stuff today. Sometimes you gotta take gambles, you gotta buy t-shirts. Like last week, I picked up a t-shirt called Federal Child Abuse, Abuse, and it was this like, I think his name is Leon, I'm gonna say it so wrong, Gonzalez. It was like a kid that got kidnapped and brought to the USA. And it was like a really cool news article. I got it for six bucks. And people are saying that one person sold it to round two for $200 and then round two sold it for something else. And mine's a medium, which isn't like the best selling size, but we could still like probably get like 150 for it, but I paid six bucks. It was really stained up and distressed, but slowly working out those stains. So you do have to take a gamble sometimes. You, you just buy weird stuff, buy cool animal prints. I spent six bucks on each t-shirt. You're gonna find some really cool stuff in here. Like this shirt right here is like a hidden banger. It is 20 bucks. It's size XL and has tons of stains, but ET Universal Studios shirt. Look at the stains on the back. Oh wait, that's not stains. That's just the print from the front. Okay, there's stains right there though, and then stains on the bottom. But this is cool, it might be even 80s. That's pretty sick. I'm actually gonna keep this one, it's for myself. It does a lot of stains, Hanes Extra Large. Pretty cool, Big Red Boat, official cruise line of Walt Disney World. Has some pretty bad stains on the back, but like I said, I'm just gonna wash it. Even if the stains don't come out, it's for myself, six bucks. I'd probably pay up to like 30 bucks if I saw this on Instagram or eBay. So I could possibly sell it for like 30 or 40 bucks, but definitely gonna keep that one. All right, first find, we have the 2002 SpongeBob's Gym. It's pretty cool, that one's $6. We have a Hard Rock Cafe Miami, with the Flamingo, that's size large, made in USA. We have this Heavenly Warrior, which is pretty cool. A little Bible Jesus shirt, 1999, size medium. It's got a back hit as well. This one's really cool, 20 bucks for this one, but definitely worth. We have the super bad I Am McLovin organ donor, pretty cool. This one's actually really interesting. It's got like a bunch of different stuff and it says American Institute of Graphic Arts. And then down here it says 75th anniversary. It's on the Fruit of the Loom, probably like late 80s, early 90s. We have this really cool Jack Daniels gold medal shirt, size XL. We have maybe a cop, I don't know, it has this bleach stainer here, I'm still thinking about it, 1985, Indiana Owls, it's pretty cool. And then I got these ones as well, Universal Studios and the Big Red Boat. All right guys, awesome day at the spot, found tons of t-shirts, I spent $87 and 60 something cents. We got that crazy E t-shirt from Universal, it's definitely from the 80s. I have a Disney shirt with the same size tag, and it's 1987, so I'm gonna say it's around the same era as that. But I already had crazy interest on Instagram, people like how much, what size, blah, blah, blah. 
It looks like it could fit like an XL if I stretch it a tiny bit, gotta clean it up, get out those stains. But I could definitely get a pretty decent amount of money for it. I think I'm gonna ask like 250 bucks or best offer because the ones on eBay aren't crazy like that. They, don't, they aren't single stitch. They're the basic universal graphic with ET just like hanging over the side of the spell out. This one's him chilling. He's vibing, it's a pink shirt. It's got a little bit of fading, some stains, but it's got a lot of love and it's got a lot of history. So I'm definitely gonna ask a little bit more and just see what kind of offers I get. I know I'll get a bunch of offers from like these low ball eBay accounts. Like they're really annoying. They'll offer like 20 bucks on a $200 t-shirt. Most of the time I just block them, but they just keep coming and coming. They're usually just international sellers that like try to trick people into thinking that they don't have a good t-shirt when they do. I also picked up one Native American t-shirt with like a bunch of lightning on it and that was only six bucks but it was like a small or a medium so I don't really like buying the smalls and the mediums unless it's a really hype tee but you know small and medium people need shirts too they just don't go for as much money so if I found like a cat dog shirt from the 90s and it's an XL that'll probably sell for like a couple thousand like maybe even like 1500 bucks I have sold one in the past but if it's a small it'll probably only catch the maybe like 600 700 bucks because there's a lot more people wanting the XLs, like the big baggy fit. But we found a lot of crazy stuff. I'm really happy with my finds. I'm gonna show you guys a couple more tees that I got and just show you like what the process is of me selling them because I am buying them for six to 20 bucks. Like I did buy that McLovin shirt and it was a crazy shirt. I think I might sit on that shirt for a couple years because that could possibly be like a $150 shirt. Right now I saw one sale for 40 and one sale for 75. So I think if I just hold on to it, maybe wear it, you guys will see it in future videos. Like Super Bad was one of my favorite movies growing up. I had an older brother, so I was able to see some of like the more raunchy and like R-rated stuff. And my parents kind of cared, but like didn't really care. They were just like, oh, okay, you could watch that movie, it's fine. I wasn't supposed to probably watch that movie, but I did. Cause you remember like when they pulled up the magazine and they showed like the titties at the convenience store? That was a scene, I remember. <laughs> okay guys, so I made it home. I washed the t-shirt, it's looking really clean. There are some slight stains right here and around the collar still, but this is a beautiful 80s piece. ET Universal Studios Florida, single stitch on the bottom and on the sleeve. Oh, this is such a cool piece. I really love it. It was only 20 bucks at the spot. What a great deal. There are a couple spots left over and there's one right here or one or two little small ones. I think I'm just going to post it on eBay as is like this and just mention flaws because I don't have time to just keep on going for perfection and going for perfection. I mean, I could wash it, maybe just treat it a little bit more, like right there, and maybe a couple more spots right there. But I think as an 80s piece, as it stands, it fits like an extra large or maybe a big large. It's 22 pit to pit by 28 collar to bottom. And it's just looking like a great 80s piece. Like this could even go to like someone famous. Like you might see this, Justin Bieber might be wearing this next month. You'll be like, yo, Connor Thrift's found that went all the way to Justin Bieber, who knows? Like I see like people finding stuff at the thrift store and then Chris Brown is wearing it in a music video. So you never know, anything could happen. He might see this, he's like looking for an ET shirt. He's like, oh, I don't mind the stains. I don't mind the wear. I'm gonna buy this for $150. Okay, I might post it for like 250, but I'm gonna put or best offer because I'm usually pretty fair. I paid 20 bucks. If someone offers me 150 bucks on eBay, I'll most likely take it. We are actually in my garage right now, so I apologize if the sound or the lighting is a little bit off. I know there's a lot of shadows and stuff going on, but first we have the Heavenly Warrior. I need to wash this shirt. I need to wash the SpongeBob shirt, clean the red boat, the big red boat. And then lastly is the Hard Rock Cafe Miami. Now the only one with a lot of stains was the one I'm keeping, so I'm not really too worried about it because it just needs like some collar treatment. You guys can't really see it in this lighting, but the collar was super yellowed. To get out stains, I usually use the OxyClean Gel Stick Max Force, and these are at like Walmart or Target. I think it's like 3 to $4. So you put it on the stain, you rub it in, and you let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. You could let it sit a little bit longer, but don't let it sit too long. I put it on for about an hour, and then I wash it regularly, and then sometimes the stain comes completely out. Sometimes you need to do it a couple times, but... Usually one time go around, it's pretty good, unless it's a really, really tough stain. Then you might have to do it a couple rounds. All right, so these just came out of the washer. We got the Big Red Boat, which actually came out really crispy for myself. The rest of the tees, they came out very nice, but they could have been a little bit better. But this one, as you guys could see, when I bought it, the collar was like super yellowed, 
and then the back had really bad yellow stains as well but those came out but this is for myself i really love disney like it means a lot to me then we have this one which still has some pit stains but i usually just mention that in the title or description when i'm listing it on ebay i'll be like light stains light yellowing stains size large this will be 30 bucks on my ebay store I paid six dollars this will probably be like 40 bucks on my ebay store i think this one had some yeah small stains right there and i think that was it the spongebob shirt from 2002 is pretty cool there's some light stains right here as well but i usually just photograph those and make sure i mention them in the description this one i noticed there were some small pinholes at the bottom but it does have a back hit as well i think i tried to look up heavenly warrior last night to see if i could see any comps but it's probably just going to be one of those unique tees where I put it up for 40 bucks, someone offers 25 and I turn $6 into 25 bucks over like the next couple weeks. Because I don't know if this is going to sell within an hour or if it's going to sell within a year. Someone just tried to hit me up and sell me a bunch of shoes. And in the past, that same dude has gave me a bad deal. So I was like, dude, if you're not going to show me pictures like Perry, you're not going to get one over me, dude. Like <laughs> this guy tried to finesse me like recently and I was like, dude. I'm not going to fall for it again. Like he gave me a like kind of like a mystery bag of stuff and it was a hundred t-shirts for $300 and there was nothing that I would buy at the thrift store for even $1 each. So I know that that bad experience in the past, I'm like, okay, if he's not going to show me the shoes that he's selling me for 150 bucks, he, he was like, oh, I'm selling 20 to 30 pairs. That's a really big difference. 20 to 30 pairs of shoes for 150 bucks. It's like, there's either 20 pairs or there's 30 pairs. It's like, which one? So he was definitely on some shit today. So size extra large, I'm really happy to add this to my collection. Super grateful for everything that I have and everything that I found. I actually posted the McLovin shirt already on eBay. It has one watcher. My friend said he sold one last year when everything was super hype for 500 bucks. I put mine up for 250, it already has one watcher. I put the art shirt up, already has two watchers with like 500 views. And then I put the ET shirt up for 250 and that already has one watcher and like 200 views. So everything that I'm posting is getting lots of love and attention. This stuff probably won't get as much love as the other stuff because they're not as hype. This will probably do pretty well. SpongeBob might do well because it's like from an iconic episode, if you guys remember this episode. And then the Heavenly Warrior might do good. It's just one of those like low-key hitters that you don't know if it's going to pop off or not. Going to the spot is like going to a vintage thrift store and you never know where you're going to find. And that's why I love going there. Crazy pieces from all different ages. Like you got early 90s probably mid 90s and then early 2000s. Great little selection right here. And uh, these ones are going on eBay. This one's going to my personal collection. This is my little personal rack over here. Show you guys a little bit of little tees of some stuff that I have. But that tee is definitely going into the personal. Got some South Park, got lots of Disney. I collect lots of Disney. Got like a nice little all over print Hawaiian shirt. I got this from my friend Picking Vintage. Shout out to my friend AJ, crazy stuff. Got this from my grandpa who passed away. That one's really dope. Got two Kuji sweaters. I sold all the other Kuji sweaters I had. I used to have six of them, but I sold them for like two to $300 each. And I kept my two favorite ones. Got a nice little bootleg Louie. Got a little crew neck just in case it gets cold. I got a blue crew neck just in case it gets cold. Lots of Disney, lots of crazy stuff. I got this from the spot recently for 20 bucks. Got 60 years of Mickey Mouse. Got another Disney shirt. Price is right. I found that at Thrift City. South Park, Happiness, it's a state of mind. You got another Disney shirt, another Disney shirt, another Disney shirt, another Disney shirt. You guys are catching a trend. This one's also for my grandpa. Rest in peace, grandpa. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Now that I got a new iPhone, I'm definitely gonna try to post every other day. So I'm gonna do like a spot video, maybe off the truck. I haven't been going there lately because their prices went up, but I'm definitely gonna go thrifting you know, do like a little haul video of what I got at the flea market or the bins. I've been going to the bins like once a week. Maybe I'll go to the bins on Tuesdays and go to the Salvation Army on Wednesday. I don't know. We'll see. Because when I went on Wednesday to the bins, I got there at eight o'clock, went shopping and got a bunch of cool stuff and left at 1030. I got to Salvation Army and I still found a $500 t-shirt. I'm going to show you guys this t-shirt that everybody slept on. Like I went to the bins and I still let all the other pickers in my area go first dibs on Wednesday, half off, and they still left me with a grail. So it was very lucky that I got this piece because the size tag is cut off. But look at this. How do you leave a single stitch t-shirt like this for $2? $4, half off, it was two bucks. I would have bought this if it was like 20 bucks. Like this thing is crazy. Single stitch all over and it says, 
Levi Blues, very hot. Shout out to my friend at Sneaker Connects for telling me that it was like a Levi shirt. He was like, yo, I think that's a Levi shirt because it says Levi Blues. So shout out to my friend Chris at Sneaker Connects for giving me that info. Cause if I didn't know that, I probably would have sold this shirt for like 50 bucks on eBay. Just thinking it was a crazy all over print shirt. Shout out to the homie. It's a size XL. It's on my eBay store. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, subscribe. I know I just did that in like reverse, but I hope you guys are having a blessed week. Make sure you guys subscribe for new content. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.